Hey, Smalley, vegetable. Come here. Uh-huh. How much? Okay, this one is 200 naira. This one is 100 naira. Uh, 100 naira. Okay. You go sell this one for me. Oga, are you buying or not? I want to buy. Oh, and the other one. Eh? Yeah? Let me buy the two. Okay, are you buying, sir, or not? I'm buying. How much for you, too? What is See, that? I will... mm? uh, is he harassing you? Yes, Auntie. Oh, God, wait. Where are you going to? Um, I'm coming. Why are you I'll, I'll buy her? next time, eh? Eh? Don't make you should it be first. ashamed of yourself. Not, uh, eh? Not Useless man. Uh, so, because you have small money now, you, know you are the type of man that go about disturbing girls on it's the street. It's not like what you Useless fool. Look at him. Idiots. Irresponsible goats. He goats. My dear, sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Idiots. He goats. Mama, I'm so sorry. I thought you touching my hand. You know that there are men out there, and the men out there are like vultures, seeking for whom they will devour. <laughs> See, Kokoma know the kind of family she comes from. She will not bring disgrace to us. And it's not about her. <laughs> it's not about her. You and I know Kokoma is a good girl. Yes. But the men out there, would they allow her to be a good girl? If you see how that man was chasing her this morning. Kokomi. He was just following her, following her, toasting her. And if you see that man there, auntie, he looks like a married man. Ha! He did tongue hidden. Ha! In public. Ha! But you know what? Hmm. I know my Kokoma. She can never, never follow those foolish men. <laughs> auntie. Anybody can give in to pressure. I hope you know. Kokoma is very beautiful. I know. And that means that what? The pressure will not be intensive. If you ask me, I don't think you should send her to sell vegetables again. What can I do, Jane? What? Heaven knows I'm trying. Ever since their father died, I mean, with my small salary, I have cared for those three children. See, you have done well. You have done very well. <laughs> Yesterday, Sima called that he needed money for handouts. Coco herself want money to write her SSCE. I, I mean, I can't, I can't cope alone. I can't. I just need her to do little thing for herself, make little money for herself, at least to buy her exam for. Auntie, you have spoken well. <laughs> but can I make a suggestion? Yeah, you go ahead. Have you considered sending her to Lagos to work as a help? That's your candidate, young boy. What? What? God forbid. Ah, it has not reached like that now. Eh? No, 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 no. See, we will manage. And God in heaven will not allow these children to starve. Amen. Mm. Auntie, there are good families in Lagos. That's what you don't know. All we need to do is look for a good family that will cater for her, send her to school. And in return, she will do some small work in the house. That's all. You and I know Coco is a hard worker now. Are you? Hey, hey. No. See, I hear all sorts of stories. So we will manage. We will manage. She will do just few hours. And besides, Nsima will, will soon finish. And then he will get a good job. Things will be a little bit easier for us. 
Amen. No. But, Auntie, think about it. At least she will be walking inside that house. And she will not be roaming the streets for all these useless men to be chasing her, toasting her. Eh? Oh, Auntie, Oompa. think about it. Oompa. I die young boy. I died young boy. If only me had not died, I would not see all this nonsense. Auntie, unfortunately, he has died. He has died. So we have to do what is best for these children. Get up for wash your hand. What is keeping now? Hmm? Take two hours to bring food. Why didn't you go and bring the food? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Coco. Yeah, yeah, Coco. Wash your hand. Mm. Mm. Uh, what kind of food is this? Eh? How will you bring food with, with, without anything inside? No, I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Eh? She's just like eating gari with water without no sugar. Do you know how many people don't have gari to eat? I, I'm many people. Better be grateful for the one you have before God takes it away from you. Miss Preacher. You too. Mama. Hmm. I know very well that you don't know the full meaning of hunger. If you know the full meaning of hunger, you will eat. Coco, man. The uncle Moko eats very well. Hmm. Better eat them. Maybe you're not hungry. <laughs> this will be sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Did you wash your hands? I've washed it before. Leave it. Is it your hand? It's okay. Stop talking when you're eating. Mama, she should mind herself. I'm shut up. I remember where you're coming from and whose daughter you are. Eddie me. Eh? Don't worry, I'll always remember. And if you don't like it there, so be them them. Men are for. Come home immediately. Eh? No problem. There's no need for that. You know we may not have a lot, but we have joy. That flows, huh? Mama, that flows like a river. Well good. <laughs> So, just make sure you don't look for trouble. Mama, you know me now. You know me. I, I just wish I did not have to do this. Mama, stop now. Stop. You, ah, you don't have to make me cry. Come here. See, it's just, it's just one year. One year now, everything will be over. I'll be back. Gamba, one year. Let me join this one. <laughs> Get out. Talk to him. You should stay one place. Hey, hey. Take care of Mama. Uh -uh. Mama, you know, you know I do. This one, Mama, you don't trust me. Just tell him. Mama, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I miss my boss. Okay. Yeah. I will yeah. miss you. <laughs> <laughs> my Legos <laughs> girl. <laughs> my Coco Legos. Mama, how is your business? Ah, with the help of your brother now. Oh. This big head. Don't mind him. <laughs> <laughs>
so you think you're 18? Yes, sir. Oh. Have you lived with anyone before? I mean, aside from your parents? No, ma. But I adapt very fast, ma. Ever since my father died, we've had to make so many changes and I cope really easily, ma. Mm. Yes, ma. Anyway, we'll give it a try. If you work very hard, you will be rewarded. But if you're lazy and insolent, I will not hesitate to chase you out of this house. Ah, no, ma. I'll work very hard, ma. I promise. Let's give it a try. Sit down on there. Go and unpack your things. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. I don't see the need for any maid in this house. So you want to join the group of women, all those modern women that do nothing in the house. My mother, bless her soul, she never had a maid, yet she had nine of us, nine. Did your mother work? Did she ever work? I am more than happy to sit at home and serve you, as long as you give me Every penny we need to run this house. Look, no matter what you say, let me just let you know something. I will not eat anything that that girl makes. I will only eat my wife's food. Let me also let you know. I will easily stay back from the shop and do this. As long as <laughs> you give me the money <coughs> I need, oh. eh? I will stay back and serve you. Do anything you want. Just. Last night, I dreamed same miracle happened to me. I don't know saying I saw it go fast. Ha! Huh? For my own company, see what they send for me. The beautiful angel. Ha! Huh? Are, you, are you mad? See, let me tell you, I came to this house to work, and that's all I would do. Huh? If you ever come close to me again, I will stab you. It's your turn. Huh? Sad slap. Sweet me. Oh God. You did bust my head self as you did talk. Ah. See Angel. Oh God. Are you mad? Get out. Yeah. See this girl. Oh. See this winch. You think you better pass me, Abby? No worry. By the time I don't show you so much love for this company, eh? now you're going to come back for me. No worry. I don't know what's wrong with this talk. I've been monitoring it for a while. I'm not sure it's a good investment. You know, I'm going to offload mine as soon as possible. It's not doing well at all. Oh boy, you didn't tell me that that game has entered. What game? I said you didn't tell me that that game has entered. What game, Abe? Ah man, that pushed me to when I see just now. Now who should be that girl? What are you talking about? That girl now, man, I get to chop that people. That is Madame's relative home. And so? I said, no, no, I beg. Well, it's a no no for you, but definitely not for me. <laughs> you don't want to go there. Madame will kill you. <laughs> See, how will she know? Bad guy. Richard. You won't chop them yourself. You see your life now? When you wanted my secretary? I made it happen. I was different. I was a full grown woman. And the thing is, you wanted me to. Mm. But this one, she's just a small girl, babe. This one, small girl. <laughs> this thing when I see so small girl. Hey, my guy. First and foremost, not like small girl again these days. Every girl don't spoil. Some of them, they able to spoil from the womb self. Not to talk of this one when I see so with all those things where she got that. This ripe fruit. Gather for front, gather for back. They work out the wine. My guy, if that baby wine you, you go dig where for him. I'll tell you so. 
Oddio, mi ne. Coco. Ma sia. Fang. Di ne qua entra già. Coco. As you call the name, so what are you doing? Go, 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 go. Yeah. Calm down now. Please. Coco! Coco! Yes, sir. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, help me with the remote. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Don't tell me say you don't want to chop that thing. That thing must not waste too. I... If you don't want to chop, allow me to chop. This is not every red sea that you part with the rod. This red sea, so I must part them. My name is Moses. You know why they call me Moses? Yeah. Uh, because your rod and your staff will come for It's almost ready, sir. Oh. Oh. I totally forgot I gave the customer into the appointment. Coco, Ma. look for something to eat in the kitchen, okay? Okay, Ma. I have to run, dear. Bye-bye, right. Ma. Have a great day. Oh. Sir, should I clean this one? Yes, because uh, you'll clean it and take it inside. But uh, first, help me. I'll just this. Okay, sir. Uh, quick, thank you. Oh, thank you. Coco! Ma! Mogna Musop, I hate going out when the sun is this hot. Coco! you're wearing. Please go back and change before people think I'm treating you badly. This is just Queen's housemaid. Yeah, okay, ma. I don't know what she is. But she's first a human being. I hated it when people treat their house up like this. Will I now do the same? Coco! Coco? Ma? I have to buy you new clothes. And see, I prefer long dresses. Even if you prefer long dresses, it shouldn't be this bad. Let's go there, really. Share praise for me for the pump and be. I'm not even here today. Are you? Let me go! You... Let me go! What's going on here? What's going on here? What is going on here? Uh, nothing, sir. But it's just a do small place, Oga. Okay? You're doing small play, and this young lady is crying. Sai, he just tried to force himself on me. What? Are you stuck? Ready, man? You're playing in my house! You're trying to molest a young lady in my house! You know what? Just go and get your things and leave right now. You're fired! Oh God, I beg, oh God, I beg. I definitely walk, I beg. I get family, oh, I will get seven children. My wife get belay. I beg, oh God, I beg. I beg. Children. And you're molesting this young, innocent child. You know what? Let me get my car. You have a crowd to warn you. Child molester. Idiot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know it must be a short tear. <laughs> okay. 
good for nothing Uko. Eh? All he knows how to do is sleep. I, I wonder why we still keep him. Well, exactly. Good riddance. What did he do this time? I came home early. Guess who I saw pinned to the wall, screaming and fighting and kicking for her dignity? Coco. This, this stupid thing pinned her down and was trying to force himself on her. And he would have succeeded if not for my timely intervention. He tried to force himself on a girl I brought into my home? He should thank his stars that you were the one that caught him. If I had set my eyes on him, I would have burnt his private parts. What nonsense! Just believe the infantry. What is even going on in this our world? Eh? In my father's days, men were not like this. Are they no more good men with dignity? Oh, I'm not right here. Of course, there are bad men, like there are bad women. But there's still a few good men left, and we deserve our credits. Where is she? The poor girl. She locked herself up in her room and she's refused to come out. Who can blame her? Who can blame her? What would I have told her mom? God will help us in this in this world. Let me see her. Coco. You would have come with me, but you still have a lot of clothes to iron. I already ironed all the clothes, ma. Everything? Yes, ma. How about, about your jam? When is it again? It's till next month, ma. Study. Read your books. Okay? Okay, ma. Ufan, I made a pan for you last night. Amazing. When you're hungry, let Coco know. She'll give you. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, ma. Okay. Coco? Yeah, come. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sit down here. Okay, sir. Sit down here. I won't hurt you, though. Come here. Sir? Right here. Just I'm fine here, sir. Sir, so please, I'm it's fine, okay. sir. My ATM card. How will I take your ATM without the thing you know? Uh, let me let me check the kitchen for you. Okay, dear. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Come back, I've seen it. Uh, it was in here. Just this small part of my bag. You know what? I think you should come with me. Mm. Eh? Just go and change so you'll be my PA. You help me organize things. Thank you, Where's the dress I bought for you? Thank you, ma'am. Hurry up, hurry up. Yes. Okay. Let me just wait for her. Alright, she comes with me. Yeah. I'll tell you what you to, I'm trying to send a message, but um it's not going. Afternoon. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Mr. Moses, just follow her. Follow her up the stairs. Don't look at her. Just go with her up. Uh, Margaret, how, how was your day? Just good. She's a small girl. A very small girl. Uh, Margaret, it's not that serious now. It's serious. In fact, it's very serious. I have your wife on speed dial. If I see you close to that girl, I will just call your uh, wife. Babe, uh, hold on. Uh, more, we're just on the way out, okay? Good. Uh, let's go. Good. Moses should not come to this house again. Mm. Okay, so now you get to choose my own friends for me, right? Uh-uh, let's not quarrel now. 
We need to get agitated. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. You know how Moses is with women. And we need to protect Coco. Last time I checked, she's not a baby. The girl is over 18 years old. That means she can handle herself. Indeed. Coco is like a daughter to us now. We have to protect her. It's our duty. Well, maybe your duty, not my duty. Mm -hmm. mm. But you sacked the security man because of her the last oh, time. Oh, that's the security. <laughs> Imagine his effrontery. So the security man can't touch her, but your friends can? That's not what I'm saying. Mm. I'm just saying that, look, you don't want to over pamper that girl before she starts to think she's the madame over here. Kuku is a good girl. She was brought up well. See, if we can help her and her mother, let's do so. I mean, someone helped us to get here today. <laughs> mm? <laughs> mother Theresa! <laughs> but you can't save the world, you know. But I can't throw a stone in the water to cause many ripples. I said my own. Tell Moses to keep his lecherous eyes away from her. Kokoma! Kokoma! How are you, dear? I'm fine, sir. Welcome to Thank you. Well done. I went shopping for you. So, since the day I saw you in that red dress that your auntie bought for you, I thought, oh my god, she looks so beautiful in red. I like seeing you in red. So, I bought you something. I mean, there's some other things in there, but this red red, I think you absolutely love it. So, Gokoma, look at me. Let me treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Let me pamper you and treat you like a queen. Okay? Sir, thank you, but uh, I can't. Uh, see, every good thing that money can buy, I can get them for you. I get you nice clothes, nice jewelry, those bright shiny nails, great makeup. Trust me, I have you covered. Sir, thank you, but my, my, my auntie buys me everything I want, sir. Sir, let me get your food, sir. Ah, I can't do. So you think I'm too old for you, Abby? Uh, no, I, I don't think anything, sir. Sir, please, you need to stop. If you don't stop, I'm, I'm going to tell my auntie. <laughs> and you think she'll believe you? Look, I promise you, I'm usually a good guy. Almost all the time. But once in a blue moon, I just run into an angel like you. That makes me lose focus and makes me lose concentration. It's very good for both of us to be friends. But if you tell your auntie anything, that jam that you said you wanted to write, I don't know if you'd be able to write it. There you go. Have this. But have, go, have it. Thank you, sir. Oh, sir, please. It's all right.
dear mama, Lagos is nice. Auntie Margaret is very good to me. She treats me really kindly and encourages me to study hard. She says she will sponsor me through my education if I do well. I'm sure I will pass jam. Then I can come home. I can't wait to come home, Mama. I miss you and Uti. food in the freezer. Yes, ma'am. Ufam, please get me one bottle of water. Well, that's great. And come quickly. together. Please, I apologize. It won't happen again. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Lifting weights. Yes, Look at you like to my mouth. Oh, you should have told me he was coming. You would have prepared a feast befitting of a prince. Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. 
Do I have a sister without my knowledge? <laughs> go, go, go. This is Goko, my assistant, personal assistant. Goko, this is my son, Osen. Welcome, sir. Welcome. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. A living PA. Mm -hmm. oh, Trust me. Just so you know how your mother likes to sugarcoat things. Just the domestic help. <laughs> Goko, please bring me a bottle of wine. We need to celebrate my son. The okay, prince sir. is here. Yeah, you're making the sound out of the protocol. <laughs> see? see how no, emaciated he is there. Huh? Like he's not been eating. Dude, this man that has grown muscles all over his body. <laughs> <laughs> how is it going? Oh, how was your trip? How did you do this, woman? I thought to surprise you. <laughs> so, you know what? It's amazing seeing you again. Thank you. Um, Kuko, come and sit. Let's eat. Ah, so I'll eat in the kitchen. Oh, why? It's so boring eating alone. I'm used to it, sir. Well, I'm not. So, you bring your food here or I'll join you in I the kitchen. No, no, sir. Don't worry. I'll bring my food. Okay. I'm waiting. How did you get to start working for my mom? I applied for the job and I got it. Mm, I see, smart. So, do you like it? How long have you been here? Just a few months. <laughs> What's with the monosyllables? Am I bothering you? No. Okay. Um, bon appetit. say nothing is wrong. Please tell me. I want to be your friend. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it my mom? Is it me? Is it my dad? No. I... I got bad news from home. I lost my uncle. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry.
Wow. Do you know, this is the first time I've seen you smile since I came. Okay, let's strike a deal. I teach you maths, you teach me BBO. <laughs> How come you don't know your language? I know, it's terrible, right? Well, I've hardly lived at home, boarding school since I was nine. And before then, I just didn't get it. Maybe I'm dull or something. <laughs> or maybe I'm, I'm adopted and I'm really from Cambodia. Maybe I'll just have to ask my mom. <laughs> so, deal? Mad for a baby. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> So song, ayo boyo domo. I got it. Welcome, ma. Hi, mom. Come in. Mom, you wanted to see me. Okay. What have I done this time? Done? Can't a mother talk to her son again? Hmm? Um, it's about Coco. Don't even think about it. Think about what? Whatever it is you're thinking about. Just forget it. Mom, I'm helping her out with her studies. Her exams are in a few weeks. Mm. Is there a problem in that? No, but I see the way you look at her. Listen, there can be nothing between the both of you. Nothing. Why? You don't like her? As a matter of fact, I do. But I... Oh, yeah! <laughs> She's just a house girl, right? I didn't say that. Well, Mom, I've made it easier for you by saying it. I thought you preached equality. When it comes to marriage, some things are different. Really? Wait, let, let me get it. All animals are equal, but when it comes to marriage, some are more equal than the others. Hussein, don't make things difficult. Okay? There are a lot of girls in this town. Just leave Kukwe alone. That's all. Mom, that girl is unhappy. Can't you guys see it? So if I can add a little happiness in her life, why is that a problem? Would I not be helping humanity? Relax, mom. You worry too much. You know with your makeup. I'm out. Leave her alone. Bye. Got this for you. Come on, sugar is good for the brain. No, thank you. I'm fine. I swear, there's no love potion in it, even though I was tempted to. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Mm, I'll just take it tomorrow. Thank you. You're still cleaning. <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay. I can see that you and Kokoma are fast becoming best of friends. <laughs> yes. Do you think that's a good idea? The young master of the house and the uh, help fraternizing to that degree. Master, she's not a slave, Dad. Well, I didn't say she is a slave, but um, <clears throat> she's here to serve. 
is not here to become a member of the family. Dad, you sound like she has been bought and paid for. Well, um, I feed her, clothe her, put a roof over her head. The examiner is going to write soon, I'm the one who's going to pay for it. Go figure. Dad. What? What's going on? Uh. I say, what's going on? Mom, how about you ask Dad? Because according to him, Kokoma is a slave. What? I didn't say that. But you implied it. All I'm saying is she's here to serve the family in any capacity that we deem fit. Okay. Not here to integrate into it. Look, you're a young man with her moans raging all over the place. The proximity I sense between both of you is not healthy. Put a check on it. She's alone in a strange city, away from her family. Mm -hmm. Is there anything wrong in trying to be her friend? Friend. Parents. Parents. <laughs> friends. Oh. <laughs> mm. Don't worry, just today. Hmm? Well, why are you dragging me to Auntie Grace's house now? No, I feel like I've been paraded in front of family. But you know you just got back now. Your aunt and your uncle have been dying to see you. Like, when eh? are you going to follow me to your uncle in Song's house? He's been asking after you every day. At this rate, I have to divide myself into two, then take this plan, take this plan, <laughs> <laughs> Ufa, are you well, going somewhere? I'm going to see Moses later. I in fact right now. This your Moses friend. D, D now. Come, let's go, let's go. Don't think I can't beat you. You're not bigger than I am. There's a man. Ah. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Mom, wait, 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 wait. I'll make you a deal. Okay. I'll follow you to Auntie's house, but I'll not stay too long. You can stay for as long as you want, but I'll leave early. As long as you get to spend time with them. Yeah. It's fine, at least three hours. Mom, mom, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'll do one hour tops. And that is my final offer. <sighs> Mr. Negotiator. Deal or no deal? Just go enter the car. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh.
Come in. What do you want? To talk about son. It's been a few days since after that small issue that you witnessed. Oh. And I think it's only right that we talk about it. Oh, you mean the small issue of you cheating on mom with Coco Maps? Don't be sarcastic. I just want to explain to you. She seduced me. Look, I tried so hard to, to avoid that happening. But you know women, they have their wiles and they have their guiles. And at the end of the day, she seduced me and she succeeded. Dad, you make her sound like a femme fatale. That's exactly what she is. She's not as innocent as she puts out. You were in her room, Dad. Her room! Yes. Because she tricked me. Look, she told me that she had some issues with the bulb in her room and that I should help her with it. I went in there innocently thinking that was what I was going to fix. Immediately I stepped in that room. She became like a dragon, like the real Jezebel that she is. And she was all over me. I tried to fight the Christian fight, but I lost. Dad, I do not want to have this conversation with you. Son. Please leave my room. Leave! <clears throat> well, um, look. This, in some way, is a rite of passage for you. Because at some point, a uh, young man becomes a man, you know. So, um, there are certain codes that men abide by. You can't tell your mother about this. Are, are you being serious right now? Yes. What good will come out of you? Your mom is going to be so upset. She will throw them out into the streets. You don't want that to happen. She's just a poor girl. Who made a silly mistake? At the end of the day, she will kill her because of it. And don't forget, if you talk about this, it's going to really affect the family. You don't want that to be as a result of your decision. Think about it, son. Loves you. She treats you like a daughter. Sen, I did nothing. You're nothing but a liar. I swear, it's not me. Stop it's... saying that and tell me the truth. Do you want to know the truth? Yes. Your father has tried to rape me severally in this house. You don't know how terrified I am being alone with him in this house. Every time I'm in my room, locked up, every night I lock up my room when I sleep just because it sneaks into my room. Well, you didn't lock it last week, did you? Because he told me it would never happen again. And I believed him. I swear it's not me. I don't believe you. You're lying. No, I know. I've just been here dying in silence because I don't know what he would believe me. Thank you for proving me right.
boss now. Rubbish. Yes. Ah! Boss now. Why has Usain not come to join you? I mean, you both like coaching the game from the sofa. Oh, fan. What is going on? What do you mean? I mean, I can feel the tension between the both of you. I, I, I thought things would sort out itself, but it's, it has not. What's going on? Don't worry yourself. It's just um, a little son and father's spat. I hope so. I mean, he has never been like this before. He's never been this angry. Anyway, I have a surprise for him. And I'm sure this will make him happy. What surprise? That's for both of you to find out. Good oh, evening, hey, ma'am. Come in. Oh, thank you, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How's your mom? Oh, she's fine. Ma come in, come in. Thank you. Ah. Hey, ma'am, you look so beautiful. Oh. Sit down. Thank you, ma'am. Let me get to Senna, my husband. All right. Welcome, ma. She's here. How's your parent? Very well, sir. It's amazing. I must see you again. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> this is my son, Hussein. Oh. Hussein, this is Imam. My friend's daughter I told you about. Hi. Nice to meet you, Imam. Nice to meet you too. You look good. Thank you. Let's eat. Come on. Oh, you didn't have to tell that story. I enjoyed it. Though, I can't believe you were scared of teddy bears. <laughs> As a baby, uh, I hate you. I love you. <laughs> Coco! Coco! Ma? We need more water. Okay. So, Evan, how are you finding Lagos so far? Hmm. Lagos is a great city. But the traffic is something I can do without. I agree with you. It can be horrendous sometimes. <laughs> it really is. But I try as much as possible to plan my time properly. That's the best way to go. So, hey, ma'am, what do you do for fun? Oh, for fun, I enjoy going to the movies. Really? Oh, well, yeah. I love the movies too myself. Wow. But I like um, horror films. She likes the romantic <laughs> Who said also loves going to the movies? Maybe you could take her sometime. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how about we do movies sometime? Yeah? That would be nice. I'm sorry. It's oh. fine. I'm sorry, ma. Coco, be careful. Sorry about that. Oh. Let okay. me get something to clean myself. Alright. Uh. The funny thing is when we're going, your father and I used to get up to the most mischief. What's wrong? It's nothing. Just go back to your date. She can wait. Please talk to me. Usa, you want me to talk to you? You've not spoken to me for days. And all of a sudden you're concerned. You know, just leave me. Go back to your date. I have to go and wipe the table. The way you are, the way you smile, the 
the way you talk. I love your touch. Uh, ooh, baby, will you consider the way you bring me fever, the way you make me Coco. fever? Working on us like this, they will kill me. My parents are not coming back anytime soon. No, thank you. I'm sorry. Coco Ma, sit. I wanted to say sorry. I'm ashamed of the way I reacted when you told me what has been going on. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. The way I reacted is how others react and that has made it impossible for women to speak up when they are being sexually harassed. Kokoma. I am so, so sorry. I never wanted you to feel like I silenced you. Please. Like what? Did, did I say something wrong? No, no. It's just... I've had this tightness in my chest for a very long time. It's been so hard for me to breathe in this house. It's like I'm alone. Like I have no one on my side. Yeah, you say you believe me. It means a lot to me. Coco, I am always on your side. And my mother will be on your side too. Your mom? Yes, you have to tell her. No, 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 no. I, I can't tell her. She hates me. She will not. See, my father has been harassing me and he has to be stopped. If you think he would stop just like that, then I'm sorry you're wrong. Men like that, they don't stop until they are stopped. I know, but please don't oh, make so, me no, tell no, no, her. No, no, okay, okay, sorry. You don't have to say anything. Please, I don't want to spoil the mood. Please, you don't have to say anything. Okay? I just want you to eat this and enjoy it. 
that's specially made for you. Okay? So, want me to change your mind? My father tried to convince me that you seduced him and I almost believed him. But when I confronted you, the look in your eyes. The look in my eyes? Yes. The pain in your eyes was just too hard to ignore. And my father has been begging me not to tell my mother about what I saw. I don't think he would do that if he was innocent. Oh, so you knew all this? And you've been ignoring me. I was too ashamed and I did not know how to make it up to you. Anyway, this has gone a long way. Okay. Thank you. I'm really glad you like it, so... Um... She wish you should just No matter the season, we we'll still smile. It's all of the reason it's so divine. You know that you are my friend, and I will hold you till the end. Young man, come back here. What's going on between you and your father? Hussein, I asked you a question. It seems you should ask that question. Ufan, what is going on? It's okay, everything is alright. There's nothing going on. Nothing? Come on, Mr. Edet. I am sure you can do better than that. Mr. Edet? Hussein! How can you talk to your father like that? My father? Ask him if he has been behaving like a father should. Look, young man, you won't go watch your tongue or I'll oh, just... What? 
He will silence me. I am not Kokoma and I will not keep quiet. Kokoma? What has Kokoma got to do with this? The two of you should tell me what is going on now. Mom, this man has been trying to force himself on Kokoma since he came to live in this house. Asking me. What? He has made this house a living hell for her and it is time he faces the consequences. In fact, you know what? Let me just hit the nail on the head. This same girl that you're accusing me of forcing myself on and, and, and all this rubbish that you're saying has been aggressively seducing me since she set foot in this house. And I did not want to mention it because I didn't want your mother upset. See what I've done. And it's very evident that she has cast a spell on you and you believe every single thing she says. You mean Kokoma has been seducing you for months? Yes. And you didn't tell me? Oh, I would have sent her back in. Mom, don't tell me you believe him. He is nothing but a manipulative liar. Hey, 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 Mr. Man, Mr. Man. I will not have you talk to your father like that. Unbelievable. So you'd rather believe him over that innocent girl? Innocent girl. Where is she? Kokoma! Kokoma! You ungrateful fool! After I brought you from the village to give you a better life here, all you can pay me back with is to sleep with my husband. Mama! Pack your things. First thing tomorrow morning, you are back to the village. Ma, ma please, please ma, don't touch me. Ma. Ah, so. ma, please, ma, ma, please. Ma, don't take me back. Ah. <laughs> She cannot stay in this house. She can't stay. Abasiaka. She leaves first thing tomorrow morning. What do you mean? Of course it's necessary. She's a little girl. And she's just made a silly mistake. Honestly, I have forgiven her. I think you should too. I don't know how you can even look at her. Let alone forgive her. We are Christians. And the good book advocates forgiveness at all times. So she made a mistake. I'm sure she's learned her lesson from this. Okay. My head wants to scatter. It's alright. Eh? Don't what don't nonsense! Don't let it scatter. Please come and sit down. Come and sit down. It's alright. You know what, Jen? You don't have to take a decision right now. Just take some time. Think over it. But always remember, at the back of your mind, what would Jesus do? Forgive. hates me. Coco, she does not. <sighs> yeah, she does. And I don't blame her. It's her husband. <sighs> She'll definitely come around. And I promise you, I'd always stand by you no matter what. Please believe me. I'd always be by your side. I 
wanted to send her back, back to the village. But they said I should let her stay. Your husband said so. <laughs> I would assume he wants her to leave your house immediately. He said I should forgive him. I mean, what would Jesus do? Hey! Hey! hey. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. My friend, I know you don't want to hear this, but your husband's actions are suspicious. What do you mean? If Kokoma was seducing him, then he would have told you. And he asked you to send her back to the village immediately. You think so? Is it her earnings you're thinking about? You can't pay for jam for her in the village. You need to think about this matter seriously. Even pray about it. I'm just so confused. Eh? I don't know what to do. Wait. Was there any sign? Nuna, sign that she was seducing him or he was seducing her? Koyo, I don't even know at this point. I don't know. I don't even know what to think. I don't know. I know. Eh? It will be well. Stay strong. Let me wash up. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Thank you. No kidding. What is this you're wearing? Please go back and change before people think I'm treating you badly. This is just Queen's housemaid. Up like this, will I now do the same? All I'm saying is, she's here to serve the family in any capacity that we deem fit, not here to integrate into it. Do you believe Kokoma? I don't understand. I mean, why do you think your father is guilty? Because he begged me not to tell you. That made me believe he was guilty. If not, he would have told you immediately Kokoma tried to seduce him. That's what my friend said. Oh, friend is a good friend. But I don't know who to believe. There's so much you don't know, Mom. Can you imagine? He tried to bribe her with gifts. I'm talking cash gifts, clothes, expensive jewelry. Kokoma even told me that after you bought her a red dress, he bought her another one because according to him, he likes her in red. How pathetic. I mean, she's young enough to be his daughter. I'm older than this girl. Um, mom, what, what's wrong? Everything. Hey, baby. Welcome. Oh, you're still awake. Can I go to bed before my husband gets back? Oh, look at you being so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very heavy day at work today. Yeah. Oh, work, work, work. Should I make something for you to eat? No, babe. Thank you. I already had something to eat at work. <sighs> um, that reminds me, the red dress for your niece, have you given it to her? Oh, yes, I have. I know what she really loved it. She was all giggling. Oh, thank you, Uncle. I can imagine. <laughs> it's a lovely dress. Yes, it is. You know, I would have told Kokoma to wash and iron the dress before you give it to her. You know, this boutique these days, you can't be too sure. Oh. 
Just didn't think it was necessary. <clears throat> so, Coco Mad didn't get to see the dress? What's up with the million questions? Like I told you when you sold the dress in the wardrobe. Um, she didn't see it. It was meant for my niece. Didn't think I had to show it to anyone. So, how did she get to know about the dress if she didn't see it? What are you talking about? Coco told Usen that you bought her a red dress because you like seeing her in red dress. If Coco Ma didn't get to see that dress, how did she know about it? I, maybe at some point I had... Uh, uh, Don't. Edit. You told me that girl has been seducing you in this house and I believed you. Now, if you don't tell me the truth, I will pack my things and I will leave this house and I will tell our family members the kind of man you are. I can't do that to you. I've been kind to you all these years. Did you try to sleep with that girl? Yes or no? Sorry, Coco. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. No, it's not okay. What happened to you is not okay. I should have believed you when you told me. I should have protected you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coco. Look at me. I promise you. As from now on, I will always protect you. I will always be there, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emma, please, don't do this to me. But it was the work of the devil. I promise you. Look, I beg you, look, I beg you. You cannot leave me like this. Please. Emma, please. Margaret, if you leave me, what, what will become of me? It will never happen again. So whatever you want me to do, I will do it. Just, just, please, Margaret, please don't do this to me. I'm not going to survive without you. Please, I beg you. Margaret, everything is around you. Everything that I am is just you. Please, Margaret, please, please don't do this. Please, please, I beg you. Please, please just listen to me. Please just listen to my voice. It will never happen again. Whatever rules you lay, I will follow them to the letter. Please. Maggie, please. Maggie. 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 Help me carry What's happening? Those bags. Mom. Why? Why? Why did your father have to do this to me? After all these years? One day at a time, Mom. Please don't, don't make any decision in a hurry. I have made my decision. This marriage is over. If it were to be another woman from the outside, I would have forgiven him. Oh, Coco, the little girl I brought into this house, a girl that calls him uncle, that's who he wants to sleep with. Oh, please, don't, please don't move out of the house just yet. You can, you can move into my room. Let's just think this through together. Please, ah, Coco, poor little Coco. Oh, 
all she ever wanted to do was to write her jam. And she will write her jam, mom. She will. She will write her jam. What do I tell her, mom? your family so much pain that you never have come here. This was not your fault. Right. <sighs> it was not your fault. Do you believe me? Say you believe me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go through all of this. stand by you always I'll always be by your side it's okay <laughs> okay. my friend I'm so happy you were able to make it down here because this is not a phone discussion. Nkoyo. Medion Edith has been trying to sleep with Kokoma ever since she came to that house. Abasianka. Did he say why? Who cares why? Nkoyo, who cares why? My husband, we want to sleep with a girl I brought into the house. Mm -hmm. A girl we see as our daughter. Eh? I'm so sorry. But wait. What are you going to do? I don't know. Do you all care? I really don't know what to do. I don't know. I know you will do the right thing. That right thing is what I don't know. That right thing is what I don't know. <laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> You'll be fine. Huh? You'll be fine. set your house on fire and you lie here sleeping i hope this inferno burns you to death edit i've told you that i'm really sorry sorry you may think you can do just about anything and then say sorry and it becomes normal yeah, oh sorry take away this shame will it Have I been a bother to you? Have I bothered you? Do I nag you at it? Oh, you think I don't know there were other women every now and then? I have been a faithful wife to you. And you choose to pay me this way?
Margaret. Maggie. Margaret. It. What cannot begin to explain the pain I feel as I write this letter. Our family and home have been destroyed by your actions. I know the society expects me to stand by you and be a good wife, but I cannot in all honesty look at you or even stay under the same roof with you. There's nothing left to say except that I'm leaving you. Usen and Kukoma are coming with me. I pray that you may one day mend your relationship with your son, but for now, he needs time away from you. I will leave it to you to explain to our families what happened, as I cannot bear to have this conversation with them. I pray that one day we will all find healing from this disaster. Goodbye. I've been waiting for you to knock on that door. I keep hoping that someday you come. I've been dreaming, anticipating, want you more and more. I keep hoping that someday you come. Life isn't complete without you. So many reasons. I want you uh, If we ever come back To this world again I swear I'll choose you I'll choose you More and more I'll stay with you I'll stay with you No matter what they say, I still hold you close to me. I still hold you close to me. No matter what they do.